countryside and I'm here at my farm or oh my garden backyard garden in Val level and uh, I'm obviously joined by my one of my uh, good good friends at Eke, Manda. Mm. Thank you so much for coming and uh, taking a look at my um, backyard. So here we have a little lime tree and I know that this is getting a little bit infected I can tell and I see you've already got some of the leaves there with you. Uh, so what what exactly is happening to this tree? You see that uh, you can see the discoloration of some of the leaf. Yeah. It's a tenial. Most of these supposed to be green, but if you really look at look at the leaves underneath, you see this, which I have four leaves holding in my hands at the moment. You see these little scaly insects. Just look at it. So what they do, they suck on the juice that is uh, in the leaf that's causing this uh, discoloration on the leaf and eventually it will kill the leaf, it will dry up the leaf. Uh, one good thing, you, you still haven't seen the the ends on this plant just because of the current uh, weather that we've gone through, because of the yeah. cyclone and too much rain. But believe me, ants will be back. Where you have these scale insects, you'll have ants. It's sort of a... a uh, working relationship between these two insects. They feed on the leaf, on the plant, but they do produce a shape that uh, sort of feeds the ants. The ants are not feeding on them, they, they, it's, they're not killing them, but it's sort of a, a protection for them. Because if they are present on their own, probably they can be eaten by birds and other insects, but mm. the ants seems to be a protection. If you can see at the bottom, see ants are start coming up slowly, see? Yeah. Up and down the tree. Yeah, I can see a few around here. Ants mainly nest in the ground. They probably four to five meters underneath the tree. The main nest. Yeah. It's the walker ants. Under the keep, tree. Yes, under the ground, and they keep coming up all the time. And during cyclone season, we have problems. People calling in. So I have problems with black ants. They sort of migrating into the house. Yeah. Uh, we, we must be mindful that these are insects are living creatures. They do communicate, they do talk. And if they can sense the change in weather, just like us, that whatever, wherever they build the nest will be flooded, we will be sure that they migrate somewhere drier and somewhere stronger. So a concrete house will be a better place to go and nest during the cyclone season before they migrate back outdoors, you know? Ah. So indirectly we are providing for this, yes, sir, for this insects as well. So if once we know this, then we are able to, you know, to prepare in advance. Yeah. When we have this, then you know. Just just look, by looking at it, this could be, for me, this could be an indication of uh, mineral deficiency. The, you mean the, the yellowing, yellowing of, the leaf, of the leaves, yeah. which shows, which tells me that the plant is struggling yeah. and feeding, or infestation. And then you look at the back, you see this, which means you just look at the, the new leaves. It's really It's green good. and yeah. glossy and... Glossy, and, yeah. yeah. See some of the ones that are few, it's always very dark green, but this is supposed to be dark green good looking but why they are looking yeah, like this you can see the difference yes. between these yeah. two right here why they are looking like this is because of this this little bug is at the back oh they're kind of yeah. everywhere yeah. can see? i can i see one oh. and they're very soft if you squeeze them if you squeeze them yeah it gets a yellow yeah, yeah. <laughs> i just yeah. oh okay <laughs> people think oh that's, that's one People, I'm so sorry. People thought, oh, that's nothing, but that's an insect feeding on the leaf. Yeah. And to get rid of that, you need to use the right product to spray. Okay, so what, what kind of products would I be looking at to get rid of this? Uh, one of the best products we have is, uh, we have a few, Yeah. but there's another, there's one that uh, it's called alcohol white oil which is an insecticide, it's also an uh, activator sticker. It can be used as a, as a surfactant, but it's also insect. It works very well on this scale insects and the white flies. And the, 
my friend, I'm sure my friend will talk about the products, the rates. And you have to be mindful, this, uh, the application of insecticide is best applied in the evening, in the afternoon. Okay. Unless if it's a rainy season, I mean sometimes we, have a, we go through a dull day, it's not really hot, sunset, it's a dull day, but rain in the afternoon, yeah. then you can probably spray sometimes during the day. But if you spray in the hot sun, most of that uh, chemical will be dried up by the heat of the sun and get blown off. It won't have any good effects on the insects, yeah. so it doesn't produce the right result that you want. So the best time of application is in the afternoon like this. Okay. So that you spray the plant properly, you spray the top, you make sure you spray the undersurface of the leaf as well, so that the chemical gets to these guys and gets rid of them, see? This is the green leaf. Oh, so they're just starting on yes. this one. And it will be like this once they complete feeding on it. Ah. So, you know the leaf is the example to the move on to the green leaf. I can't believe how so in a way, they it, are. In a way, yeah. it's, it's more like a parasite. Yeah. Because they, they wait, you know, the leaf plays a very important role in a plant. Mm. It kept the sunlight to manufacture food. So whatever nutrients get taken up by the plant, it goes through the leaf process. And that's where they're waiting for them. So they get in quick and they take it before the leaves get a chance yes. to take it. Oh no, naughty. Um, mm. What about the ants though? Like, uh, would the same kind of products work for the ants? Yes, there's a few products that you can use. For example, if you use the the bifenthrin or sandothrin with the with the white oil. Yeah. I mean, they can be mixed together. Or well, that means you're using white oil as the sticker activator. And the bifenthrin does work very well on ants as well. So we have two that works in combination together for these guys. Because they also work in combination yes. together. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, so like how long before we can expect them to start disappearing once we start using so the products? The spraying interval will be 7 to 14 days. Yeah. Which means that you do your application first, you take note of the day. Yeah. Then you monitor, you check the infestation of the, the ants and the insects. If they are starting to die off, no, please number. You can also see the result in the growth of the plant. If more of these leaves are getting greener and greener, and you're getting a few yellow leaves which is fallen mm. off, then you can follow up every 14 days for say three to four applications. Yeah. And you can skip for two to three months and see if they come back, then they need to come back. Okay. After that, that's, that's what you need to do in the first application just to remove them from infesting the plant. Okay. Otherwise, if you leave it like that, they'll be over the plant. And once they increase in numbers, the plant health will be going down. And they can, they can, believe me, they can kill the plant. They have done to certain stages that infestation is too high, then the, they really affect the growth of the plant. Okay, well, coming up next, we, when we were in Nambitu in Singatoka, we actually went to visit another farmer, Farmer Bobby, and he has a nursery, but he's also planting a few other different things, and one of them is uh, a very certain uh, type of guava. Now, Sayed and I went to visit him, and uh, we actually noticed this same little bug, or parasite, as Manda mentioned, mm -hmm. on his trees. So uh, let's go and see what he's dealing with. Maybe someone out there watching is also going through the same thing. So let's see what we find. So today we are at uh, Mr. Parman's uh, place, uh, his farm here in Nambitu. Everybody knows him by Bobby. And uh, he's been supplying seedlings to, to agriculture and even farmers here in Nambitu. He, did, uh, he, he, he is using our products and he did a trial in 2015 and last year on uh, English cabbage. And uh, now I would like to ask Bobby if he can uh, 
brief us on this sir patam mai aap sabhi ko dhanyawad de raha hu ek kim ko jo aaj kai aaj aaye aur kai varsho se hamare sath jude hue hain raat to raaton mein bhi aate hain humko madad pahunchate hain humne 2015 mein ek kim ke product ko istemal kiya हम उस पर बहुत सफलता पाए जैसे कि हमारे हमें आपको नया सीख मिलता है सीखने के लिए जैसे हम पुराने ज़माने से खेती करते आए हैं लेकिन फिर भी हमारे साथ आई के एम जुटा हुआ है और हम आई के एम जो कंपनी है मैं उसको धन्यवाद दे रहा हूँ भाई जी के जो हमारे अक्सर नबीतू गांव करीबन थ्री फाइव किलोमीटर्स भीतर है और हमारी रास्ता की हालत तो बहुत ख़राब है फिर भी ये लोग हम पर हम किसानों पर दया करते हैं और आते हैं हमने जो प्रोडक्ट को यूज़ किया था अपने खेतों में इस्तेमाल किया था वो हम सब भली भाती हमने लास्ट ईयर भी हमने उसको यूज़ किया लेकिन हमारे मौसम हमारे साथ नहीं था तो हम फिर भी जो आज हमें सीख मिला हमारे ट्रायल हुआ जो हमारे भाई छोड़ियों के खेत में मैं उनके कुछ हम किसान होने के नाते हम बहुत खुश हैं कि हम सब एक कृति हुए हैं और आज वहाँ पर हम देखे कि क्या हमें नया सीख मिला भाई एस के साथ और हमारे मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर है जो हमारे देश के किसी विभाग के तो हमारे फील्ड ऑफिसर्स है हमें अक्सर आप देखभाल करते हैं हम एस पी सी के साथ मिलकर आते हैं हमारे पास 92 फार्मर्स है जो बहुत मेहनती किसान हैं हर एक मार्केट में हमारे किसान बहुत मेहनत से एक खराब रास्ते में और कोविड के समय हम अपने फसल को पहुंचाते हैं जैसे हमें बताया जाता है मिस्ट्री द्वारा एस पी सी द्वारा कि क्वाल्टी फसल को निकाला जाए लेकिन हम अपने मेहनत को कर रहे हैं लेकिन हमारा रास्ता हमें क्वाल्टी करने नहीं देता हम जब मार्केट अपने फसल को लेकर पहुँचते हैं तो वो टूट टाट जाता है तो हमें बेचने में दिक्कत आता है अगर आप हमारे यहाँ सिफारिश है कि कृपया इस पर भी ध्यान दिया जाए ताकि हम और भी कुछ कर सकते हैं आज हमारा देश हमारा दुनिया कोविड से छून रहा है लेकिन हम किसान अपने फसल को मार्केट किसी प्रकार से पहुँचाते हैं अप, अप, अपने जीने के लिए और अपने कंज्यूमर के भी जियाने के लिए हमें बहुत ज़रूरी है कि हमारे देश के जितने भी नागरिक जो सब खुश रहें और हमारी ही वेजिटेबल से उसके फायदा हो हमने 2015 में नेसरी को निर्माण किया था लेकिन हमारी एक नेसरी गिर गया था लेकिन फिर भी खैर आज हमें मिस्ट्री फोर एग्रीकल्चर द्वारा नेसरी को छोटा से नेसरी दिया गया और हम यहाँ से जो बिया को उगाते हैं वो हमें हमारे किसान को फायदा होता है जैसे कि हमारे पास यहाँ पर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रोग्राम है हम यहाँ से मेनली हमारे सफ़र करने के लिए बहुत दूर पड़ता है जो बिया लाने के लिए किसान के लिए इसके लिए यहाँ पर सहूलियत किया गया है कि ये नेसरी से हमारे किसानों को फ़ायदा होगा बट आई के एम प्रोडक्ट हमने इस्तेमाल किया हम भाई जी से सैद भाई से सलाम मुस्कुरा लिया उन्होंने कहा है ये चलेगा तो मैंने इसको इस्तेमाल किया और हासिल किया और ग्रीन लाख जिस तक पोलीफेट पोलीफेट के कमाल है लेकिन उसे बोंगो ची लिया बोंगो चील इज नॉट वेरी एक्सपेंसिव टेन डॉलर के We then made our way to Bobby's Green Pearl Guava Farm where we noticed a fair bit of white fly infestation. Nothing that say it said we couldn't fix with a bit of insecticide. So, ye begging kare ke kaun chi? Ab hum aapko dikhate hain jo phal tulne wala hai. Ha. Hum aapko dikhate hain begging kare ke matlab chidiya nahi khayega. Right? Aur uske alag alag swaad rahega na? Hmm. Aap dekh sakte hain. Quality bhi acha hai na? Quality abhi hum iske bitar hum kuch nahi dekhe hain. Hum nahi jante iske quality kya hai na? Lekin hum iske toodo छोड़ कर कुर्ती को निकालें टूटिया गया और अब तो अभी ले जाकर आप काट के खा देखिए रीजन कुंची है उसके तोपे के चिड़िया ने खाई ना है और घाम नहीं लगी घाम नहीं लगी जो क्वालिटी उसके अच्छा रही ना अच्छा अब अभी खाए के देखना उसके अच्छा चूटी लगे तो ये हमारा छोटा सा फार्म है 62 ये 62 पेड़ है इसके हार्वेस्टिंग अभी हम शुरू करे हुए हैं कोविड से पहले इसके निवोल एक डोला किलो हमें बताया गया था अरे कोविड के कारण अभी हमारे पास उतना मार्केट नहीं है ओके फिर भी हम बेच रहे हैं सो वी आर वी आई एट बोबीज ग्वावा प्लांटेशन द ग्वावाज आर कमिंग अप वेरी वेल बट द प्रॉब्लम इज विद द वाइट फ्लाई वंस दी Uh, plants are infested with fly, white flies the leaf stands something like this and it also uh, the quality of the the plant the tree drops so the best chemical i would uh, suggest is bifenthrin bifenthrin mixed with x77 stica and spray on the crop in the evening 
uh, in the afternoon sorry so this will control the white fly or if you want 100% organic so the best chemical I would recommend is uh, DE DE is 100% organic food grade it's in powder form you need to mix with water you need to spray in the afternoon uh, DE works in two modes of action it's, if it's direct spread on the insect it kills them slowly by uh, they lose their body fluid if not you can just spray on the plant once the chemical dries off it uh, forms like a crystal on the on the leaves so once the insects they come and sit or crawl on the leaves it cuts up their body and they bleed to death coming up we're heading back to Vala Levu and looking at what products to use for my insect problem <music> Hi Shani, I've got a solution for you. Oh wow, I see you beat me to it, you've already got something. <laughs> yeah, I've got something for you. Yeah? Just to keep you busy. Okay. <laughs> and get rid of this... Uh, this problem that yes, I'm the having, insect yeah? insect pest that Manda mentioned Ellie, earlier. Yeah. So, these two chemical. What is This that? is okay, white so oil. White oil. And this is bifenthrin. Okay. These two are compatible. Compatible means you can mix two chemicals. Okay. There are some chemicals, they are not compatible. So it's always good to read the labels before you use. Yeah. No, so you, you, you have a fair, fair idea whether to mix with other chemicals or not. Okay. So these two chemicals are compatible. Compatible means you can mix them together. All right. And these are both insecticides? Yes, both insecticides. Okay. In fact, this works as a sticker. Okay. And the insecticide, this is best for scale insects and aphids. Aphids and scale, they both suck on the, the juice leaves. Of yes, the from the leaves. leaves. Yes. Uh -huh. And this is the result. Oh, okay. Turns yellow. Okay. Yeah. And this also controls the the ants, the yeah. black ants, the aphids, and the white flies. Ah, okay. So you can mix this and spray late in the afternoon. Yeah. It is the time when the insects they crawl into your on the crops and they feed. You won't be able to see them during the day. Yeah. You can find them late in the afternoon. So okay. The best time to spray the insecticide or the fungicide is late in the afternoon. Okay, hmm. so between what time would you recommend? Uh, normally when the sun goes down, okay. no, it's uh, dull, then this is the best time to spray. Okay. So, and one good thing about this, it's a sticker like I mentioned earlier, it's a sticker, it sticks on the leaves. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. sticks on the surface? Yes. So, and the mission ratio is on the, on the label. Okay. So you can just simply follow the label and mix in your tank and spray. How much would I need? Like for, for a plant this size, and uh, you know how we went to farm a Bobby's place, right? Mm. And his guava trees were about the similar height. Like how much would I need to, how much product would I need to use to? So the mixing ratio for this is 20 to 25 mils into 20 liters of water. Okay. And for this, you need to mix 440 ml into 20 liters of water. 20 liters of water. Yeah. The reason why this is a bit higher dose is because it works as a sticker and as an insecticide. Okay. That's why you need a higher dose compared to bifenthrin. All right. Yeah, and like Man Manda mentioned earlier, you can always, uh, uh, no, reapply within, uh, after four, seven to fourteen days. Yeah. And also monitoring is very important. And obviously, once you apply a product like this, like we you know we've spoken about withholding periods before. Mm. Once you apply a product like this, you shouldn't actually be picking a fruit yes. or eating from the tree yes. for that amount of time, the withholding period, right? Yes. So, the label, normally it says about the withholding period. Yeah. So, far, a farmer, before using a product, he needs to read the label properly and then use. Labels are in English, Fijian, and in Hindi. Okay. So, some of the products, the withholding period is 14 days, some yeah. 7 days. By fainting, it's 3 days only. Yeah. Three days. Oh, okay. So yeah, so since cool. you'll be mixing with two chemicals, so most probably seven days. Seven days would be okay. Okay. Seven days or, yeah, seven days. And then you can, what you can do, you can always monitor. Yeah. If there's no insect infestation, then you can you know, hold it back. And then when you see they are coming back, then you can spray again. Okay. Okay, mm. cool. Well, thank you so much for my presence. I think I'm going to have to apply it now on my tree. Um, but yeah, no, I appreciate that. Uh, I think another thing that people are kind of struggling with is fungicides, right? Mm. Or they have a lot of fungus um, 
infestation or yes. I don't know how you would say it Infection. infection. No, infestation. <laughs> infestation. Infestation. <laughs> infestation. So I think that's another topic that we have to tackle. So yes. maybe next week, uh, say it. Very important we... because for vegetables and yeah. fruit, fruit is you need a fungicide. Oh, okay. Right. So like for this is a fruit tree, so mm. I would need a fungicide for yes, this. Yes, definitely. Or else you'll see the deficiencies in leaves and you know, the fruits are not properly developed. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see all the deficiencies once you once the crop starts bearing fruits, okay. and that's too late. Oh. For a vegetable, the first application of fungicide should be done when the true leaf stage comes up. That's most probably two weeks after planting. Wow, that early? Yes. You have to apply once every two weeks. Okay. Yeah. You don't wait till the crop is infested with dis uh, disease. Then you go out and spray with fungicide. That's too late. Ah. None of the fungicide will control the fungus. Because the diseases are normally in the ground, yeah. they travel by water and absorbed by the roots. For right. insects, it's okay. Yeah. Once they come and bite, you can see that there's an infest infestation of insects, so you can go out and spray with insecticide. But the fungicide, once it gets into the plant, you won't be able to know. You can, know, you, you, you can only know once the crop bears fruit, yeah. and that's too late. Well, very, very interesting, but we're going to save that information for you for next week's episode, because we're going to talk more on fungicides and learn about when is the right time to use it. I know we did a little bit of that with the demo pod. So stay tuned next week. Make sure you catch us same time uh, here on Green Pillars. Thank you, Sayed, and thank you, Manda. Thank you. All right. We'll see you next week. If you're interested in purchasing any of the mentioned products, you can visit the following Ekem distributors. Contact Ekem on the following numbers. You could even visit them in person. They're located on Wylander Road in Lamy.